Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Today, we have an exciting matchup between two teams looking to perform on a big stage. It's the Celtic Tigers going up against the Cowboys. All right, Larry, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dublin Celtic Tigers and the Dallas Cowboys. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. This up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw right, him do there six. because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll show the defense. Yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle. And the extra effort moves the sticks. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Kelly to throw. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Now Kelly to throw again. Over the middle, the catch made by Mitchell. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Fresh set of downs here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So the offense looking at a second and eight. They go back to the ground with Smith. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production means they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Kelly down on third down. Under pressure now they get to Kelly. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Let's just take it around the 12. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs.
The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back to throw here. Forced out to his left. He's letting it fly for Cooks. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game was we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. They'll set up a throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does, because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height... He can stay in there if he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Ten yards still left on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. I say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game, they may want to file that one away. See how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. The slot man in motion right. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Ruben Foster picks it, and a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now let's go! 319! On second down, McCaffrey. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Well, when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here 
Here's Kelly to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field on an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More we're, football. we're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Looking to throw on second. Here's Kelly. Over the middle complete. It's Mitchell. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Cowboys on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. From the gun, Kelly. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go. And got his man complete. That one goes for 36 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Carry good pickup on first down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They got to feel pretty good about that one. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. here with Smith and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain a pickup of four on first down it'll be second and goal so that run gets him about halfway home yes now second and goal the end zone and he'll get in touchdown Cowboys a great play there his sixth touchdown of the season and the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game it's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. He's going to want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. to throw now on second and ten for the sideline and look at that catch dragging the toes and that's going to be a first down well done give him 12 yards on that one it earns him a fresh set of downs they'll look to throw now on first down eluding the pressure right and he'll be knocked down sideways at the 41-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. He'll drop to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Eli Harold. In there to sack him for a loss of six. that one there didn't he it's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football yeah and he wasn't really going through progressions he wanted to go to his top guy you do that against this defense they'll make you pay won't they yeah they certainly will they react very quickly to the thrown football he gets us away it's a good one drawing toward the sidelines The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Let's go. Green, 39. They'll run it now with Smith. And some room to work. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On the ground, this is Smith. Got some room at the 30, and the cutback to the sideline. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice gain there. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. A play fake. Now Kelly. Looking deep downfield. A swing pass caught. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play here for Dallas. 45 yards. They'll try and sneak it here. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. It's their quarterback. His first touchdown on the year. 
And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Bailey now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it Punt's on the first better. drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. All right, here we go. Now a play fake here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws in the double coverage anyway. He called you laddie? He called me laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. And the slot man goes in motion left. He'll look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. down. He'll drop to throw it. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. He'll look to throw. He gets away from one. He's going to fire one deep over them. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be marked down deep in Dallas territory. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now the offense lining up first and ten. They'll look to throw here. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. They're going to look to throw. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. there Lucky now. maybe Three that it wasn't game. intercepted. Detroit. Detroit. Three. Three. Leopard. Leopard. Now back to throw. And too much on that one. It's out of the back of the end zone incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six put And it's caught. Touchdown. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. 
Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And out now come the Cowboys. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And he motions the wide receiver. On first down, it's Kelly. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And this will be caught at the 30. A big play here for the Cowboys. 46 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And some room to run now. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. It's good, and it's now 21-15. Bailey now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. They'll set up the screen here to mix him. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout called as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Looking to throw. And that's complete to Cooks. 14 yards that time for number 14. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up the block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Give him 30 yards there. Now that play will end up on the highlights. And you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see... The offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. They'll drop the throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. 
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. And pump the brakes, Larry. Pump the brakes. We are ready for quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. <laughs> And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So here they come, the road team now, getting the football first to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A gain of 39 that time. They'll look to throw here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Back to throw. And this one's incomplete. Let's face it. Perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off here the 29. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Play action. It's Kelly. Buying time to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. There's so much precision in an offense, especially when you're throwing the ball. And in an out route, plenty of it. How about the quarterback hitting his back foot, balls out of his hands, receiver making his break, making his cut. He's got to time up perfectly. Not always easy to do. Just let him a little too much. Yeah, I remember back in the good old days, I was talking to a quarterback, and he said everything they did was on the count system. So when he took a snap, he counted it his head for certain routes, different time frames for each one, and he knew if the ball wasn't out of his hand at that point, he'd better eat it because the play was dead. Here we go now. Lumber. Lumber. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. On third down, Kelly. He's got a man. It's Mitchell. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Number. 
A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So the offense has it first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. And he cuts right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Here's Kelly. His pass caught with the four. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Bailey now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they're through the interception and finish off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Back to throw here. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and nine. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 39. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Detroit! Detroit! Let's go! Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. Now a handoff here to his running back. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And this is going to go the other way. The defense has it. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. They were looking for a little spark and some breathing room. They got it right there, a gain of 14 and a first down. And they're going to go soft on the corners. They'll run it now out of the gun. Big hold of the 30. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Really, that 
nice pick up of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Second down and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Able to shake him off. And he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Solomon Thomas in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. And on now is the punter. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Final minute now of the third quarter. All right, here we go. On second down, Kelly. Now he's forced out left. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. All right, here we go. Back to the end, Billy. Here we go. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. On the run. He'll let it go. And this is caught inside the five. And he's going to be out of bounds, down inside the five at the four. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Let's go! 319! Now they try the right side here. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Now, the defense definitely showing blitz here. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. time second and goal the fourth quarter here they've got the lead they want to keep it on the ground that's what they're doing smart football keep the clock grinding keep it going but you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out second and goal as the offense looks to try to punch it in and a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line partner i know we're in a goal to go situation but my goodness, think about running the ball here. 
not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now Kelly. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists with their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They find some open field, and the ball is knocked out. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. It's caught left side by Cooks. 23 yards on the play. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 28. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line right around the 36. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. 23 yards on the play. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does...